Hey everyone, welcome back to Down Periscope, Up Periscope. I'm Tim, one of the tour guides on USS Blueback. And a common question we get asked here in Blueback's control room is, why is there red lighting? What's with the red lights? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So basically, the red lighting allows the tachyon emitters of the reactor core of the submarine to create a highly localized gravimetric distortion field, which increases the photonic emission into the reactor core and creating a higher warp resonance with the sonic inducers, which transduce into the field array and allowing the submarine to reach higher speeds, a high greater amount of tactical clairvoyance with the uh, emission fields, which create a highly stealthy submarine. Therefore, by you know, altering the phase resonance of our sonic hyper torpedoes, we create a better you know, attack uh, wave. No, I'm kidding. Obviously. So actually, unlike what you see in movies, or like what you see in movies, red lighting is a real thing on a submarine. It's known as rigged for red. But unlike in movies, it has nothing to do with the submarine being at battle stations or whatever. So the red lighting serves several purposes. For one thing, if we are looking through these periscopes here, like this, and it happens to be nighttime out, well, the red lighting allows your eyes to adjust more easily to dark environments. Have you ever walked from a brightly lit white room into a dark room? You literally can't see anything, it's pitch black. So red lighting, on the other hand, helps your eyes adjust. Now, red lighting is not unique to submarines. In fact, all military services use it, mostly for helping your eyes adjust to darkened conditions. Now, additionally, it is for emissions control. These periscopes do work both ways, in fact. And so, conversely, if the light in this room is white, then this white light travels up these periscopes and you will see white light for miles at sea, especially at nighttime. So red light keeps the submarine stealthy. It has a lower, longer wavelength and it's harder for the eye to see at nighttime. Additionally, um, just forward of me is the bridge access trunk. Now, if the submarine is surfaced, the hatches in that access trunk might be open and there's gonna be some people standing on the top of the sail, you know, with their binoculars and they'll be scanning. So the white light as well can go up that way as well and shine out and you'll be able to see it. Red light, not so much. And arguably, maybe another reason is that the red light simply tells the crew that it's nighttime out. So, but anyway, if we had to, in fact, say the submarine is operating in a really um, highly sensitive patrol area, then we could actually just black out all of these lights. So we will emit no light through these periscopes if we're using them. So yeah, that's pretty much the very mundane reason of why there is red lighting. It controls light emissions through the periscopes and it basically helps your eyes adjust to darkened conditions. Simple as that. I uh, recently asked a, um, a one of our volunteer tour guides who served on a Virginia class submarine about red lighting in the control room. Cause I was wondering about this because a Virginia class submarine does not use traditional optical periscopes like these. They use photonics masks or optronics masks as they're sometimes called. I think he just still called them periscopes which is essentially what they are. But the difference is that a photonics mass is non hull penetrating. So it doesn't penetrate up through the pressure hull. It's purely like a telescoping um, mast up in the sail of the submarine. And we're directly beneath the sail right now on blueback. But on top of this telescoping um, mast is basically a big sensor package. And a photonics mast contain like, you know, uh, low light TV cameras, optical cameras, infrared sensors, laser range finders, or any other various kinds of sensors. Essentially, it's just a sensor package on top of a telescoping mast but it doesn't penetrate the hull. The only thing that does actually is like the fiber optic cabling that comes down into the control room. And it's simply, it's a digital video feed and it's shown on a screen um, in the control room of a, of a Virginia class submarine. So yeah, I asked him, well, is there still red lighting? Can you still rig for red in a Virginia class submarine? 
He's like, no, there's no need to, which is what I suspected anyway. So, yeah. That being said, I mean, some of the lights are a little bit dimmer in a, in a Virginia class control room. And above the, um, the computer screens is like kind of a dim purplish light to reduce glare. In a way, it's kind of similar if you're on a warship and you walk into the Combat Information Center, a CIC. You'll notice that a lot of the lights in there are blue. And it's dimly lit blue lighting to reduce glare on computer screens and things like that. So, again, uh, darkened conditions help your eyes see a bit better. But yes, that is the very idea of having the submarine rigged for red. These are just traditional optical periscopes with lenses and prisms in them. And another funny thing is that, you know, <laughs> you know, spending any time, you know, as a tour guide on, on Blueback or any, you know, submarine museum ship, don't watch submarine movies with us because we will start picking it apart, you know. And even those of us like me who are not, you know, from the submarine service, who are not from the silent service, um, we still can pick it apart, you know. So you look at movies and it's like they turned off like three quarters of the lights in the control room. And for some reason, it's just really, really dark. It's like even if there's white light in here. You know, with all the lights, white lights illuminated in this room, it's still, you know, it's fine. You can see everything in here. It's not like it's dim or anything. So, but of course, if this was a movie set, for one thing, three quarters of these lights would be off and it would be dark and moody and stuff. And people would be shouting at each other and hollering at each other, even though they're like, you know, two feet away from each other, you know. So, of course, there's got to be lots of screaming. It, it's a Hollywood movie, you know, it's, yeah, so, but... Hollywood has its own interpretation of, you know, reality. Whether or not that actually conforms with reality is up for debate, so. Anyway, so, yes, red lighting. Now, of course, some of you may say, like, oh, you know, what about the movie The Hunt for October? You know, we could probably do a whole video or episode on The Hunt for October, and Blueback was in that movie. But on the two different sets for that, one for USS Dallas and the other for the Red October, you notice they use different kinds of lighting. The Red October, the control room is much darker and it tends to use more blue lights, whereas on the Dallas, they tend to use red lights. That was mostly done as a distinction for um, to know which submarine the viewer is looking at for that film, from my understanding, so, yeah. But there is one scene where, um, you know, after Jack Ryan, Alec Baldwin's character, comes on board the USS Dallas, right? the captain orders the control room to be rigged for red. So, although that scene would imply that they're going to battle stations, so they need to rig for red, but again, the red lighting has nothing to do with being at battle stations. Anyway, so that's a little bit about why there are red lights in the control room of a submarine like Blueback. So, known as rigged for red. So there you have it. Take care, everyone.